So you remember how last time I was complaining that I didn't get Heath Seeker while it was on Plant of the Week? I was all like, oh man, that thing looks so broken. I missed the chance to get it and I don't know when I'm going to get another chance to get it. It was pointed out to me that you actually can still get it. It is kind of part of the whole birthdays event. And even though it's not on Plant of the Week anymore, you can still get the thing as long as you buy birthday pinatas. Yeah, that brother's starving. Cam, please tell me you're not about to sit here and buy birthday pinatas. I'm sorry, what do you take me for? No, I'm not going to buy any birthday pinatas because I already have. I'm sorry, I, look, I'm sorry, I know, I know. Just, just give me a sec! Actually, I got nothing. Go ahead, kill me. You're unworthy of the loved ones you have betrayed. So we got the Heath Seeker. It's actually not the only thing that I got hold of because there was a lot of stuff that you get in those pinatas. So I managed to get the rest of Bramble Bush as well. This thing's also just dumb good for no reason. I got the Darty Choke. Ain't really had a chance to use this thing yet. I got a boatload of cactus as well, but I still don't have cactus yet, so... That doesn't help. Do you know what? I've gone on about this for long enough. We must return to the Dark Ages. This is not the Dark Ages. So we're on level seven. We just got the Bertie Bots Every Flavor Bean. I kind of held off from using it. Not that I'm... Oh, we've got Knights. Oh, we haven't had the Knights yet. Okay, so this is where we get to see just how bulky they are. I was going to say about the Bertie Bots Every Flavor Bean... I'm not exactly in a rush to use the thing anyway. I mean, I know what it does. I get the whole gimmick, but it's like, it seems like it kind of sucks. I'll bring it anyway, just because why not? I have got something in particular planned for you, Sir Knight. I'll be interested to see if this works. I'm going to bring Heath Seeker just to show you how cracked this thing is. I'll bring Bramble Bush as well. Shrinking Violet and Puff Shroom. Why not? This is a really, really weird setup. I haven't even given an ounce of thought as to how I'm going to work this out but we'll kind of wing it i just want to see if chili bean works on the night oh, i should have brought grave buster would have been helpful too well, let me just drop that there it's kind of like a grave buster it just takes a bit longer Bruh. maybe i could get into the habit of using puff shroom maybe i just you know you literally have to just spam the things just throw them down all the time there's no drawback to it so you might as well get you to eat that maybe cool okay throw a puff shroom down doesn't this thing have a plant food where it just smites the zombie that eats it? Like some ray of light comes down from the heavens above and just torches them. Oh, hang on a minute. So they don't shit out sun when I kill them. They shit out sun every time I hit them. So every time my puff shroom hits him, he spits out... How much sun is that? Five. Wow. Slow down there, player. Put Bramble Bush down here. This thing is like... Okay, first of all, the test. Go ahead, chow down. Does it work? We are the knights who say... Houston, it works. We do not have a problem. Yeah, Bramble Bush is kind of dumb. This thing, it's kind of like... It's kind of like a spike weed, but more like the God of Warfare spike weed, where it actually grabs hold of you and holds you in place and pretty much doesn't let go until you're dead. And I don't want to jump the gun, but I think it even works on Gargantuas. Like, this thing will full-on just grab hold of a Gargantua and not let go until he's dead. Are you ready for the main event, though? Is the question. You see all this? You see all this shit? Goodbye. Someone really designed that and said, yeah, this is fair. You're joking, right? Imagine I could sweep through all of these levels using nothing but Bramble Bush and Heath Seeker. If I can, then that is just... Don't want to say it's pay to win. Uh, but that's exactly what it is. I forget how many uses it is you get out of Bramble Bush. I think it's three. Do you see how dumb this thing is? How quickly does it kill a buckethead? Very quickly. How quickly does it kill a knight? Very quickly. It's like whatever they have on their head, whether it's a cone or bucket or full helmet or whatever the fuck, it kills that instantly. Okay, so it's got the same plant food as spike weed as well. The question is, can it grab more than one zombie in it? That's what I want to know. Okay, let me try this. No, but if it kills them before the plant food runs out, then it will drag another one. You want to see my wombo combo? Bada bat boom. Pow. They really said for 125 sun, just wipe the entire field. That's actually, that's crazy. How is that allowed? So we've got a gimmick level for this one. PVZ3 makes its grand return. Really have gone back to the Dark Ages now. Oh, have you given me Hypno Shroom again? Let me do my best, John Cena. Are, Are you sure, sure about that? that? I mean, listen, you can give me that thing all you want. You know I'm saving all my plant food for that. Turns out my theory about the Uno Reverse card was correct. Sorry, I had an itch. It is just he will deflect solid projectiles and then anything that's not 
a solid projectile. He doesn't. It would be a lot more threatening if you couldn't kill him with laser bean and lightning reed and magnifying grass. It's almost like they kind of bring him in on this, oh, be careful of this guy. You can only kill him with certain plants. It's like, yeah, you mean all of the plants that I actually use. <laughs> you Like, you've not really narrowed it down. All right, so I need this plant food. I'll tell you what, you can eat that while you're at it. And of course, I put it in the wrong place. Thank you. Have a refund on that, please. God, let me just get a Johnny and hold him in place because I'm kind of intrigued to see how long it takes a fume shroom to kill him. Big man's doing his thing, but I can still see the knight behind him. He's still not dead. Like, is he that bulky or is fume shroom just that bad? Or both. You know what time is. You're the shit ass. Oh, the knight finally died. Jesus. That took like an hour. I'm just playing this one so lazy. Like, not a care in the world. All right, let me get down three fume shrooms and see if that can do it a bit quicker. This has to get it done. If the three of you can't take his ass out before he kills that Johnny, then I don't know what to tell you other than the door's there. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Plant food that. Now, watch what happens when he eats this, if I remember correctly. My dude literally gets smited. Talk about eating the forbidden jelly bean. All right, so that level was a mess. Warning, I've detected... Um, bottles containing chemical compounds of a malevolent makeup. Can you translate into crazy dork? No, I, I promise, like, and even, even... Can you translate that into Crazy Dave talk for me? There are evil potions on the lawn. Why didn't you just say that? Oh, my God. I'm actually, I'm as dumb as him. I needed that translation more than he did. Holy fuck, I'm dumber than Crazy Dave. Actually, do you know what? It's cool. Because I swear down people tell me that he only comes across as dumb, but he's actually low-key. He's a genius. That is kind of me as well. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Oh, what do the potions even do? Survive while evil potions boost. Oh my God, it's buffing the zombie. Why is that a thing? Oh, you already know I'm bringing Heat Seeker for this one. I'm so certain I'm going to bring this thing. I picked this thing before my sun production. I can see Uno reverse cards. So I probably want laser bean. See, I would bring lightning re, but I feel like the knights are just going to tank that all day. I'll bring tile turn up. I'll bring that. I guess puff shroom and I guess hurricane. We could do something like this. Oh. Uh. You need to stop. So when you say it boosts the zombies, boost them how? It makes them bigger. Okay. I presume that now means they're going to tank a bit more. No, hang on. There's different kinds of potions. He's still... Okay, so I still got him. He definitely did tank a bit more that time. Oh, this one's faster. What the hell? No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, get back. Oh, why is there a gravestone in the way? Why didn't I bring Grave Buster? Do you know what? Fuck this. Stick that in your beaker and drink it. If I double up on this lane straight away, that should be enough. Okay. Um, nothing in this lane. That wasn't a diss towards you, Puff Shroom. That was just, ah, I need to bump up the sun production a little bit, I think. This one's bigger and faster. You wanna play it that way? Deflect that, crash bandicoot looking ass. I feel like now this should hold. And if not, then, you know, we always have the, uh, the totally fair and balanced, not pay to win in any way, shape or form, not instant win button. That definitely doesn't insta-kill everything on the field for a measly 125 sun. This one night in the middle is massive. You leave me no choice. We have here a scroll. Is it an endless scroll? By decree of Lord Zomboss, please leave... The fuck does that say? Thoust brain on thine stoop. Well met, not very noble lord. It is my fervent medical opinion that your humours are out of balance. Oh! Is there no need to say shit like that? Methinks the siphoning of thine brains is the only way to correct this ailment. Fare thee ill, Dr. Edgar Zomboss. Oh, is this a boss level? Yep, that's the one. What are they sending in this one? Oh, they're sending their own gargantuas now. And of course, it's a uh, conveyor belt. Because what else would it be? I should really make a habit out of actually bringing Grave Buster to these. Probably wouldn't be the worst idea. Let's put that there. Yeah, let's do that. Got no lawnmowers for this one, so... If I just try and make sure that I've always got a puff shroom in each lane, then we can do the plant food, and it can actually be useful. Try and save it until they're actually looking like they're going to fade away, though. So it's starting to fade here, so we'll hit one. They're still not dead. Fuck off! Oh, now we could have a problem. 
In fact, I'm going to jump the gun here. I'm going to get rid of you. Because I know you're going to activate his Crash Bandicoot Tornado. That's it. Blow him up. Can't absorb that. Now we can put this back down. Let's just go Johnny's in the rest of the lanes, I think. Yeah, this isn't looking too bad. We're making it happen. See, even if I don't really kill anything with the plant food, it just renews all of them. So it's kind of a win-win either way. If I can kill any of them with it, it's just kind of a bonus. Just come a little bit closer. That's the stuff. Uh, ooh. I'm going to have to do that and activate it straight away. See? Push him back. That's it. How the hell are we going to play this? We're going to have to get down a fume shroom. Shove him back. The hell happened there? All right, go, 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 go. Quick, quick, quick. Mm. Oh, come on. I need this gravestone here to break. I need it now. Right now. Okay, go. That's it. I just need the three you said, you know what, put that down. He's quite clearly past it, but we take those. I'm not going to argue against a win that I didn't deserve. Some would say if I didn't deserve it, I wouldn't have got it. Oh, this is where shit's about to hit the fan. If I use Puff Shroom's plant food, please tell me. It's not going to do shit. It's not going to do shit. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. Drop that. No, get rid of him. Put that there. This level's so weird. I'm going to have to put something down there. Another one of them. See, it's like I'll load up all the lanes with puff shrooms and then they're like, ha <laughs> Uno reverse card. Are we going to make it through this? I do need this knight to die. So I'm going to hope and pray that what I've got in these lanes is enough to... Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I don't actually know if I'm going to make it. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on, push him back. No! That's it. Just keep holding him. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. No, keep putting stuff down. Keep putting stuff down. No. Another one. Come on, give me something game. That's it. Oh, he won't die! Please! Okay, you leave me no choice. Just take a step back, please, sir. Let me put all those down. There we go. Sorry, I had to invoke the keepy uppy claws. There was no other way. There was no other way I was getting through this. Thank Christ. Okay, that, that level was actually quite hard. It's the way that they kept doing the bait and switch. They were like, here, have all these puff shrooms. Put down all these puff shrooms. It'll be great. Ah, and here's some court jesters. <laughs> Piss off. It's hard enough with the knights and the gargantuas. Level 11. Wizards? Oh, shit. What the hell do you want? Yeah, I already know what he does. I know exactly what your game is. Which is why I will have to make you my counter offer. In fact, I'm bringing it all to hell with it. Shall I just bring all the premium plants that I have and see how we go with that? Let's bring all the pay to win shit. See how we do with the pay to win slash watch endless ads to win setup. See, normally I'd be up shit creek that paddle because I've got all these gravestones here. I've got no grave buster. Definitely got nothing that can hit that one. Ah, but I do. I have the advanced grave buster. <laughs> You don't prove my point very well when you destroy all but the one gravestone that I was specifically talking about. Do you know what? I can't be asked. You already know what he does. He comes in, he turns all your plant into sheep. Yeah, I get it, Popcat. Very funny. That's supposed to be a joke because I'm Welsh. I tell you what, I got an even better one. Knock, knock. Get it? Because you're dead before you can even say who's there. Just remember, you might have the power to turn my plants into sheep. I have the power to give you a micro dick. Oh yeah, and I also have this. He turned all my fuzzies into sheep. Survive and keep the puff shrooms alive. Oh, well, they fade after a while, so I'm going to have to... Oh, man, does that mean I'm going to have to make sure they don't fade away as well? That could be interesting. I'm definitely thinking lightning reed for this one. There's not really any point bringing tile turnip because I'm probably going to have to use the plant food to just keep the puff shrooms alive. See, the thing is, I could bring them in the setup and just load up the whole field with them, but then... He's the problem with that. So that's actually not going to be an option. This is where we bring the boosted lava guava. Choices, choices, decisions, decisions. I'm bringing the lava guava. Why not? I'll bring Stolia. I mean, the good thing is we're going to get at least two plant food off this first set of gravestones. So that should hold us up for the moment. I'm just going to make sure that nothing else gets through. Not 100% sure what I'm going for with this. I'm thinking lightning reeds. 
in between the sun shrooms and the puff shrooms. I think having the boosted lava guava is going to come in kind of clutch. Any and all plant food is getting saved for these puff shrooms. Like, oh, that's not even up for discussion. I think this should be okay if I then stick in durians in front of these. I'll probably just save the lava guavas for when they start sending the wizard harrys. Just to kind of deal with that straight away. Because I ain't got time for that. Although, riddle me this. What would happen if the wizard harry turned one of the puff shrooms into a sheep? What if they turned all of them into sheep? Surely they can't fade away while they're in sheep form. Or, or maybe they can. I don't know. I'm not really well versed on the politics. Uh, let's do this. Because I've got excess plant food here. Okay, here we go. Do you know what? Do this. Nice. Just take the wizards. Take the wizards. The wizards. Thank you. What I feel like that's not even going to kill him. It, it didn't kill him. The lightning reed had to do it. That's incredible. The good thing is, at least by using the lava guava boosted, it doesn't actually use it up. That's it. You can turn the sun shrooms and the endurians into sheep all you want. Just don't touch the lightning reeds. You know, actually do that. That should do it. He actually had to erupt to kill that one. This is going to be the endless. Sword in the stone. Is that a JoJo reference? Why would anyone go and stick a nice sword in a dirty old rock? I understand it to be a test user, Dave. Only someone with great physical strength and strength of character may remove it. I bet someone with a jackhammer could remove it. That's facts. Do you know what? That's the most intelligent thing you've ever said. Why didn't they just do that in King Arthur? Just get a jackhammer. You must... <laughs> Could you imagine that in, like, medieval times and they've, like, coned off the sword and the stone? There's just a load of dudes standing around in high-vis jackets. They're just catcalling all the maidens that walk past them. Go on, love. Get out there, boobeth. I will probably do this one, then call it a day. This is a gimmick level. Pea Shooter and Walnut sure are good at what they do. Talk about two plants that fight great together. What if there was a plant that behaved like both a Pea Shooter and a Walnut? Oh, is this the peanut? I've heard this thing isn't actually that good. Like, it sounds kind of good on paper, but I've been told the actual pea shooter part of it is really weak. I mean, we'll find out. Let's try it. I'll put you like there. So it does kind of seem like it's just a normal pea shooter. But then it's probably really bulky as well. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's that bad. I mean, I'm still buying Hypnotroom. You're not changing my mind. Why does if I plant food the sheep? Nothing. Why does if I plant food the peanut? Okay, now he's got a helmet. I don't want to say he looks like a slightly malformed Belen, but... Well, since I'm going to get a plant food back for this, let's do it. He just ate that entire thing. Are you mad? Give me that, give me that, give me that. Oh, why do you have to keep sending these guys? Ah, just give me the final wave and then I can let the lawnmowers do it. Give me the final wave, please. In fact, you know what? Get rid of this. That's it. Um, gonna have to do this. Got no choice. There was no other way. Okay, so now this is the final wave. I just have to guard this bottom lane with my life. Nothing else matters but this bottom lane. The rest I can let go. Oh, now you give me one. Yeah, that's real helpful after the fact. Job just about well done. And I'm thinking that's probably where I'm gonna call it. Seven levels to go. I'll cover all seven of those next time. Magnet Shroom's close. Been a good world so far. It's definitely noticeably a bit harder than the last one. Definitely been a bit of a step up, even with the, you know. But I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for the next one. See you next time.